Well, Merry Christmas, fellow haunters. Is it Halloween yet? So I was out Christmas shopping the other day, guys, and I stumbled onto something that I just wanted to share with everybody. I found what's called the garage parking sensor. Okay, it's supposed to help you back your vehicle into your garage or into a tight space. So it's pretty much a proximity sensor. <clears throat> okay, well, how does it work? Well, this bad boy is ultrasonic. All right, let's open one of these up. Get right to it. Guess I don't really need this little screwdriver. I could use something a bit bigger than that. All right, unconnect the batteries. Just pop that right out. Let's get this board out of here. Two lights, two LEDs right here. Let's see if we can just flip this backwards because I bet you we can here. Oh yeah. Yeah, just flip it over so you can work on it. So pop these two back in here on the bottom. Tighten that up good work on it. Okay. Let's pull these LEDs upwards. Like this. And pull this thing out. Get rid of that little guy because it's just in our way right now. Yeah, so there's one red and one green bulb here. And they're both going to be on for the yellow. All right, so we're going to plug this into a DC wall ward here. And give it a quick test. Okay, there's our green. There's our red. So you see how this thing kind of works. And it's the, the red and the green together is making our yellow. We got the cap off of there. As I get further away, okay, now we're in the green. That sense of the green. So for sure we got two channels here that we can have activating depending on how close to pro how close in proximity we are to this thing. That is straightforward. Okay, let's pop those bulbs off of there. Normally at this stage we'd be flowing the solder off the back end of these uh, lights here, but because I just want to tap into them and see how much juice is flowing through them We're just gonna cut these off at the end of here. So I got some contacts to work with so there's one, Two Let's see what kind of voltage we're getting out of these 3.5 
That's just enough to do what we need it to do. Perfect! You can see how it's detecting, not necessarily motion, but it's just, just detecting the range that I'm at. So you can imagine how effective and how uh, differently you could use this kind of prop trigger uh, depending on what all you're doing. I mean, you name it from the solenoids, like these little things mounted on the sides of walls. And then you don't need blinders with these things either. That's one of the best things is that if you're not completely hiding the sensor anyways, you can just leave it right out in the open for people to know pretty much what they're doing to activate the props. Your animatronics, like I said, your pneumatics, and all that air shit pumping around. You name it. And then whatever the low voltage is on the inside, you could use this standalone without any relays or anything at all, strictly as a trigger for like your um, your Houdinis or your uh, peekaboo. So your standard telephone cable is nearly identical to the cables we're using on these ultrasonic sensors. Uh, they're both four pin designs, so if you got a bunch of four pin telephone cable laying around, this is going to work perfect. All we got to do is shave down the sides a little bit so that they fit inside of our um, ultrasonic sensor and controller. So there's all kinds of tools you can use for this, a grinding wheel, an angle grinder. Uh, you can use the old hot knife trick. I'm going to use a Dynafile just because I got one laying around and they were pretty effective. So we're just going to shave this thing down here so that it fits nicely into our connectors. Alright, I bridged up two of our sensors here with our customized uh, telephone cables here. So we got one here close to the unit. And we got the other over here. And they are somewhat set up kind of in the matter that you're gonna have in your haunt, um, where they're just, they're separating the ideas to see if we can trigger the same sensor from different areas using our fancy telephone patch cable. Just like we would be at the haunt, right? So in summary, what we have here is an ultrasonic proximity sensor that you can easily tap into your Arduino or your prop controllers or whatever you're into. You got a low voltage that you can use just the same on a platform that uses pretty much telephone cable that's easily customizable to run your lengths for your sensors and also has a DC jack for all your wall warts. Guys, this thing costs me $4. It doesn't get much cheaper and easier than that. Get on them. Merry Christmas.